Good morning, traders. This is Bruce at VeloxPro. If you can hear me and see my screen, just type yes. Thank you. Thanks, Gary. Yep. All right. Good morning, Francisco. Um, okay. Well, uh, let's get started. Uh, and uh, we're going to look at uh, a book map uh, and then the order flow uh, within book map here. And we'll start with the risk disclaimer. Trading futures and options on futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information, go to bookmap.com. You become a member there. You have access to the free resources. And any questions, reach out to us at support at veloxpro.com. Okay, the uh, free resources and uh, where you can find Bookmap for a free trial, uh, go to bookmap.com. This is, uh, click on the pricing tab uh, when you enter. Uh, and uh, you'll see the uh, a basic and advanced version. Okay, it's a, a monthly subscription for 49 per month or 99 per month. They are billed quarterly, uh, and uh, you get them both, uh, depending on which one you sign up for, uh, for a 14-day trial period. Okay, you will need to put your credit card down, but you are not charged. Uh, the um, uh, difference between the two uh, is uh, these um, these add-ons here. Okay, uh, and especially the uh, top one here, the uh, one-click trading to be able to trade right from the chart, uh, which uh, bodes well uh, if you uh, want to develop or utilize automated strategies within Bookmap. Okay, we now offer that with our new API, so uh, you can um, uh, turn on and off the automated strategies and, and ask questions here. Uh, we're going to go through the order flow, but uh, ask questions about... Uh, uh, some of those strategies, how they work, uh, uh, you, you know, in, in how you want to develop for them, um, whatever. I mean, they're, they're Java-based, and uh, this is a, a big uh, direction for us. So uh, it's uh, uh, being able to utilize the um, uh, very, very uh, uh, robust visualization within Bookmap uh, and the order flow and the limit order book. Uh, evolution along with uh, automated strategies okay so you're going to be able to see very clearly how uh, your strategies are working okay and I'll show that to you uh, this week sometime here okay the free resources all right so um, I just uh, uh, click on the um, uh, portal or education tab here uh, and then you'll see a list of all the videos Okay, there's the ed educational videos here. All the recorded webinars are here. So if you click on this link here, uh, that will take you to the YouTube page, and uh, and you'll see all the recorded webinars. So um, I thought I put up. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, it's here. Mondays. Here's Mondays right here. Okay. So um, uh, you can watch uh, yesterday's if you want, uh, and. Um, and there's also uh, uh, all the links here for, for um, uh, these video snippets that we put together. They're very uh, uh, concise videos, about three minutes long, uh, very helpful for understanding the market phenomena that we're witnessing in Bookmap. Uh, and uh, uh, digest that information, you'll be able to uh, see the um, uh, and understand the uh, phenomena in Bookmap, and you'll be able to integrate it within your trading uh, a lot quicker. Okay. Uh, you can see also the uh, Pro Traders uh, series. We had other traders um, uh, outside of Bookmap uh, present, uh, and you can see how they uh, trade their methodologies and how they look at the order flow with Bookmap. Okay, and you can also see other collaborators here as well. All right. Um, let's see. We also have a. Uh, if you want to look at um, uh, a new. Um, uh, article uh, that just came out from uh, from Wilmot, and this is uh, serving the quantitative financial community. Uh, so uh, I'm going to put this into the chat so you guys can click on that link there if you want to see it uh, to find out more about Bookmap. Uh, all right, and um, what else? Uh, ah, uh, yesterday I wanted to go over yesterday uh, just a quick review of uh, what we saw. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, we were witnessing this, and I just have a, a screenshot here. Um, with the order flow, uh, here's our 930 open here, okay? And uh, uh, we were witnessing this, this low here at 67, okay? The, we drew in our levels here, uh, and uh, 
we were noticing a lot of interest uh, with heavy liquidity down at this 67 level. Okay, and we're starting to notice um, a, a bit of a shift. Uh, the price structure here at um, uh, 69, uh, 69 and a half was broken. Uh, and, uh, and, but then uh, we, we noticed that uh, the breakout here was very shallow and we had a lack of volume above that 69 and a half area. Okay, uh, and uh, we were looking then for a, a rotation back down uh, to maybe test these lows. Well, that's where we saw very, very aggressive liquidity uh, on the bid uh, in this area here. Okay, uh, and um, uh, this was this was really important, uh, and, and it was um, uh, recognized during the webinar. So, if you want to go back and review, uh, you know, we this was significant liquidity. They're bidding up at a higher level. Okay, this is something we look for. Uh, now. Um, we also covered that um, uh, you know there was a, there was a really nice breakout to the upside for the rest of the day, okay, uh, and um, uh, but you know all the pieces weren't there, and this is what this is what I want to cover, right? Uh, you know, looking at the order flow, we look at the limit order book, and we're answering a, a few questions, and we're going to go over these questions again uh, today and tomorrow and the next day, uh, and we answer these questions about how is the auction. Uh, behaving, uh, you know, how are they reacting with their liquidity? Where they want to buy and sell, uh, and this was significant here. Okay, but we're also putting together the the tape. Okay, the transactions, the traded volume. Where are they trading? Uh, and this was not very significant. Okay, and it being Monday, as well as um, uh, uh, there's uh, some some. Uh, more important news coming out at the end of the week and then FOMC the, the, the following week. Um, you know, it, it just uh, it just was not enough here uh, in terms of more volume trading at a higher high. That's what we're looking for, okay? And we did not get it here. Shallow breakout and a lack of volume, okay? Although we did get this move to the upside, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the order flow in this case uh, was uh, uh, giving us uh, uh, clues to, uh, or not not the complete picture, right? So um, uh, anyway, uh, you know, that started to change over here, okay? After the webinar um, uh, was over, you're starting to see these clusters of volume here starting to trade at these higher highs, all right? We wanted to see this kind of activity over here, all right? Uh, yeah, this is the ES, um, and... Uh, uh, so anyway, that's just a review from uh, from yesterday, uh, and um, uh, we didn't have all the pieces of the puzzle. All right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, lovely kitten. Um, yep. See, I was watching the order flow there. Um, so um, uh, let's move on and uh, get into uh, uh, looking at uh, the the order flow here. All right. So we're going to look at our again our higher uh, levels of interest, uh, regardless of how you trade. Uh, and then we're going to look at the book and the microstructure, and that will allow you to pinpoint your entries and exits. Okay, so here's a half-hour chart on the ES, uh, and uh, we can see the back and forth that we saw yesterday right in this area here. Uh, and it uh, looks like it's uh, very similar. It uh, has a downward slant, though, to it uh, still. You can see that uh, uh, we're not uh, really uh, uh, today, for example, we have not broken to uh, the overnight high here. Okay, at uh, 75, came up and tested it and it sold back off. Um, and um, uh, that's, uh, that's the half hour chart. Okay, so um, let's uh, take a look at a five minute chart okay, and start to outline some levels of interest. Okay, our, our levels here are not, not, not so bad from, uh, from yesterday. You can see here 71, still rather in play here. And this 69 area kind of in play. And we had this 67. Here's our 67 from yesterday. Look at the spike down below it. Look at the rejection. This is what rejection looks like, obviously, on the candlestick chart. Let me blow this up a little bit. Uh, and, um, and we see it trade back into the range to the other side. Okay. Uh, and let's take a look at book map. What does that look like? Okay. Okay, here's our uh, our 940.45 area, uh, and uh, look at the big volume dots trading down here, and look at the liquidity being provided down here at our 67 level. Let me draw in 67. 
Okay, so we do get a, a bit of a spike down below it, a uh, lot of volume trading, uh, and then um, uh, notice now here we're, we're starting to see the transactions uh, taking place. Uh, now we hadn't broke, we haven't broken the um, uh, uh, this little swing here, but we we do here. Okay, uh, so we're starting to notice the transactions taking place uh, at. Um, uh, uh, it's different. They they were all on the lows here. Now they're starting to take place on the highs. Okay. Okay. And then in terms of limit order book, let's uh, let's zoom into these areas. And let me get out of the tool. Okay. Uh, and what what are we seeing here? Okay. Uh, we're starting to see. Um, uh, well, the, in terms of liquidity, um, this this was the story here. All right. Uh, it's, this is very different than yesterday. Okay, uh, where are they on the bid? Well, they're still down here around this uh, 69, 66 and, and three quarters, uh, but higher liquidity up here uh, around uh, between uh, 69 and, and 70 and a half. Okay, we trade into that area, uh, and um, now uh, at that point we want to see if we start to accept above uh, this uh, uh, this swing. Okay. Uh, and uh, and you can see uh, that uh, volume uh, is starting to trade and accept, and time is passing by uh, at this area up above this 68 and a half. Okay, so that's a that's a good example of what it looks like in Bookmap. Okay, and then here's here's what it looks like in your uh, uh, in your candlestick chart. Okay, here's the uh, the kind of um, a sweep of the book up above this little area here, okay? This area here at 10 o'clock, okay? Here it is at 10 o'clock right here, okay? Right there. So that's what that looks like, okay? And this this concept of sweeping of the book, okay? And shift, shifting of the book as well. We don't really see a shift of the book, of the liquidity, but we definitely see a sweep, Okay, and that sweep occurs when you see them, uh, like in this little area here, they break out of an area uh, and they just uh, continue to lift the offer. You get nothing but um, uh, buy volume, uh, taking liquidity from uh, price level to price level on up. Okay, here's a nice one here, for example, okay, uh, around uh, this um, uh, 1022 area here. Okay, this is East Coast time. All right. Okay, uh, and then what we look for, uh, when you get a, that sweep of the book, uh, you, you wanna see where the buyers are, okay? Look at them providing liquidity at a higher level up here. Okay, that's pretty, pretty bullish activity. Now, a lot of times what we get when, uh, when, you, when you see this uh, occur, um, you know, it, it depends on how bullish of a day it really is. Uh, you know, if there's been fundamental news that comes out, uh, you know, you'll get a re return back to some of these these clusters here, uh, and then you'll see continuation to the upside. Usually, what we look for or what we see is you see a breakout, you see a return back to where it broke from to see if the buyers are still there. All right, and you can see that's exactly what this uh, uh, liquidity here at 2370 represents. Okay. So these are, these are some of the um, uh, order flow um, uh, uh, structures uh, that we're looking for. And, and you can see these are very high time frames. You know, I'm not looking at uh, microsecond uh, uh, data here. Uh, we can still utilize the, the evolution of this limit order book uh, to give us a lot of insight to what's going on at some of these areas. Okay. Uh, so... Um, yeah, returning back down to where we came from, uh, it's a very common uh, phenomena, all right? Uh, and uh, what, what, what's going on right now? All right, so uh, let's, let's go back to the uh, presentation here, uh, and um, uh, we're going to uh, go through our questions, all right? Uh, showing up to that auction, uh, what is the current configuration of the book? Where, where are they auctioning, okay? Where are the bidders and where are the sellers? Uh, and then uh, we want to we want to understand how they behave when price price approaches them. Okay, do they get cold feet? Do they pull liquidity, or do they add liquidity in, or do they stay in the book? Uh, we want to gauge that behavior, all right? And then we also want to look at the transactions. Okay, so um, 
uh, let's take a look at that behavior. Well, here, here's another another example uh, of this. Uh, uh, you know, we had the breakout here, right? And then look at this little swing here uh, at uh, 72 and a half. Okay, this is a kind of a, a flip of the book. High liquidity here, sellers take them on. Okay, they trade through that area, and then these guys that were here on the offer are on the bid are now on the offer. Okay, so this this now we're we're seeing kind of a um, uh, let's get that horizontal line in here. Okay, we're we're seeing that price was accepting above uh, 72 and a half, retested, uh, came up to 75, and then it broke down through this area. This is again sweeping of the book. Okay, taking all of the liquidity here on the bid. And they just trade right through it, all right? And then price comes back up. It tests where, to where it broke from, okay? At 72 and a half, this is where it broke from. You get a retest of that area, uh, and price now accepts down below it. You get one more retest here, and you can gauge the activity here. Let me get rid of that one, sorry. Uh, Okay, so we get a, um, uh, a retest back up into this area here, uh, and, they, and then not only are they staying in the book, they're adding into the book, right, right in this area, so you can see it, okay? Uh, price accepts, uh, and then uh, what the, the transactions and this time and acceptance, uh, you, we get that price discovery to the downside. Okay? This is what we were looking for yesterday uh, in the you know the opposite direction uh, but um, uh, so what we're getting here uh, is that, that that price discovery down to where we broke from down here all right and now we're testing these guys in the current configuration of the book it's between 70 and 73 and we're testing these guys at 70 all right yeah you're right uh, Francisco it has not been uh, tested yet uh, one tick away right the sellers have not taken them on yet all right okay but we can still gauge uh, the behavior and this is that that the second question here uh, how are they behaving as price approaches them okay well they as soon as a uh, price started to kind of veer away here in this area you can see that they started pulling liquidity as price came down into these areas, they're adding right back in. Almost 2,000 contracts here at 70. Very, very high liquidity. Okay, so we got to see though. I mean, it's only one level of liquidity. You know, we can also the area around it. Are they front running it? Are they are other guys? Uh, you know, are they bullish and they are? Are they jumping here in front a tick a tick uh, uh, ahead of them, or are they supporting it down below? Uh, are they adding into the book? And, and no, they're not. It's just one level here. Okay, so we're we're getting a read on that information as well. See this area here. There was a lot of buyers. Okay, now the sellers took them on and traded through. Uh, but you can still you can still look at this area here, and and you can see their behavior. Okay, so um, uh, you know, and and that's that's something that um, uh, you know we we need to. Um, uh, we need to cover, uh, you know, although that these guys, these guys meant business, uh, they stayed in the book, right? Uh, but the sellers took them on. It doesn't mean that, uh, you know, I mean, it, it's higher, there's higher probability uh, uh, usually uh, if you see a high liquidity here uh, and, and um, uh, a price uh, uh, comes down toward it and these guys stay in the book, well, they, it just means that uh, there are a lot of buyers. The sellers need to trade through that area uh, and if uh, uh, they want to uh, uh, have price continue uh, uh, to the downside. And that's what they did. Okay, They took them on uh, and they grabbed all of the liquidity here. These guys here, these uh, uh, traders on the bid got what they wanted. Okay, They got filled at these areas. And you can see the transactions that took place. Okay. Uh, and then we see this uh, order flow structure uh, shift, right? They were on the bid, now they're on the offer. Okay. And now we're coming down and, and we've tested that, uh, that 70 level. Uh, look at these, the little point here at uh, 70 and a quarter. And look at the, the uh, um, 
aggressive uh, cell volume here at these areas. You know, it, it, it really dries up. One tick away from it, we had 156 contracts that traded here. Okay, that was it. One tick above it, we had uh, almost 5,000. Okay, let's see. Um, a few more questions. Uh, buyers trapped around 11. Um, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we we this is kind of microstructural here. Uh, I I wouldn't put, you know, I I don't I, I think looking at this level here at 72 and a half is more significant because that's where we broke down from. Okay, uh, instead of uh, looking at this kind of microstructural level here at 72 and a quarter. Uh, we actually came up a bit further. Uh, the buyers here, if they, if yeah, I mean, if anyone bought up in these areas here uh, aggressively, uh, trying to get price to go to the upside, well, yeah, I mean, uh, they're they're kind of in a in a tight tight spot right now. You know, they're getting squeezed. Okay, uh, and um, uh, you know, if if they are getting squeezed, where are they going to be placing their stops? Okay, probably depends on their time frame, right? They could be placing them here. At 71, or you know, we could come back down and, and uh, uh, look at the swing down here at 68. You know, and it looks like actually that's kind of where we're, we're headed. Okay, we just traded through our 70 level. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, some transactions take place here. You can see the red dots. Um, and um, uh, did all of this liquidity trade? Well, let's let's take a look here. Okay, um, let's zoom in. Okay, well, it some of it did. Okay, and some of it pulled. Okay, we can look right at it here. Okay, and we can read the volume that traded here. Okay, so uh, we had 1,887 contracts, and then they pulled it down to 1,600. Okay, we have some volume that did trade in that area here, uh, and then they pulled. Okay, and then we see a, a volume dot here of uh, how many? Well, many contracts. You know, here's 100. Here's almost 100. Here's 70. Here's 57. Um, uh, one and here's 42 okay so you can see about 300 um, well almost I mean 299 exactly is what traded right here okay so you can see uh, how, how we're, we're showing every single event uh, discrete event in in the marketplace here you know as you continue to zoom in okay look at we're, we're at at millisecond level uh, we can continue on and and and, sh and show you exactly what unfolded here Okay. This is now down at microsecond level, all right. And uh, notice how uh, this uh, uh, these markets trade algorithmically. Look at how these are nicely spaced out. This is algorithmic activity, okay. Hitting the bid, okay. Taking liquidity off of the bid. You can see also how Bookmap is handling this data. As I zoom out, uh, we're visually, just visually. I mean, all the data is still there, but we're visually um, aggregating in a bigger uh, red dot. So you have reference to what this uh, volume means. Okay. And you can start to put together a bigger understanding of what's going on at these areas. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dave, uh, is there liquidity at 66 and three quarters? Let's take a look. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really seeing much at the moment, um, you know, in the, in the, in the lit book, uh, we haven't come down into that area yet though. So we, we need to see that. Okay. So right now this is a, a, it's a good question because, uh, this is the live book right here. Okay. We have 20 levels of price. Okay. This is the live auction right, right now. Uh, we don't know, uh, how much liquidity is down here, uh, at the moment. Okay. When we come down into that area and the book refreshes, then we'll know. Okay. Previously, though, I mean, you can see I have I have the uh, if you right click in this area here and, and then I choose format the column, um, uh, you can see I have it on extended book. Okay. I can uh, uncheck that and this is just the live. Here's the lit book right here. Okay. This number on the other side is the complete uh, bid and this number here is the complete offer. Okay. The aggregate. 
All right. Now, a lot of people like that view. Um, I prefer to have it extended so I can see what it was down here previously. Okay, I see the numbers here. Okay, when we come down, then this will refresh. All right. Uh, I also have this um, configuration uh, contrast configuration on pretty high. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this down a little bit uh, so we get a little more insight to what's going on. All right. Okay, and let's get out of some of these tools. All right. Okay, uh, some more questions. Uh, can I review? Visual column with COB and CVP. Um, yeah, sure, Bill. I mean, um, uh, this is, um, uh, here we come, okay? So we're coming down to that 68. Let's, uh, let's zoom in here, okay? All right, Bill, starting to see uh, uh, some people starting to, to come in here, showing a little bit of interest here, okay, at, uh, at your 67 and three quarters, all right? I don't see any icebergs at the moment here, um, you know, going off at this area. Okay, previously, were there icebergs? Let's take a look. Back here. No, I don't really see any. All right. Okay, um, let's uh, continue on with your questions. We have some, some good questions here. Um, um, yeah, I mean these these areas here. I mean these are these are limit orders. This is liquidity. These are traders that want to trade at these areas, All right? Uh, and in this case, like uh, uh, we were just witnessing, uh, uh, some of it did, some of it didn't, right? Uh, and we zoomed in and we can tell, you know, we can be very decisive about it. We know exactly what, what unfolded here, okay? We're looking right into this area, all right? Okay, so let me zoom back out. Okay, so buyers are starting to show a little more interest now at 68. Okay. So, um, you know, these kinds of days uh, with uh, big news at the end of the week, uh, you'll get a lot of trappy tops and bottoms. You'll get breakouts like this, and then you'll see them knock the stops uh, at specific areas and then reverse back into the middle. Um, you know, I mean, maybe maybe you can uh, look at even uh, uh, the swing down to the 67 or 66 uh, area, something uh, kind of similar to that. Uh, and... Um, uh, so uh, yeah, I think we I think we are going to test. Um, you know, we were looking for that, right? That if they're going to break, and these these buyers in some of these areas up here, where are they going to put their stops? They're going to put them down here, okay? And uh, starting to test right into that area right now. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, let's see a few more questions. Uh, Francisco, yeah, bookmap, um, it can, um, uh, if you're looking for a value area and your point of control, um, and, um, uh, well, I mean, right now, what you what you can have is that the VWAP that I was uh, showing you uh, yesterday with the, uh, the volume um, uh, CVP and SVP here, uh, but, um, uh, you know, there's, there's the new um, API, uh, configuration up here uh, that you can uh, start to add in uh, and, and write your own um, indicators uh, as well as automated trading strategies okay so if you're if you're looking for that um, then uh, that that's possible you can write your own all right it's Java based uh, and uh, you take a look into that okay all right all right, decisively traded through, okay, uh, this uh, swing here that we were looking at, uh, at the 68 and, and a half or so, okay, and uh, let's take a look at, look at the uh, order flow now, okay. 
one of the things that you'll see time and again uh, is order flow in a trend and how it behaves, okay? And this is um, not the greatest example, but you're starting to see it here. Clusters of volume trading at lower lows, and look at these lower highs, okay? These little swings back up into these areas, and look at the volume trading up here, okay? Very little, all right? So uh, when you when you do see that, you usually get a, a, t a retest back into the area it broke from, and that this this is an example of it. Okay, you can see we broke here uh, down very quickly, uh, and we do get a couple of retests here and here uh, back up into that area, and uh, and very little volume trading up here. Okay, um, and uh, uh, so we rotate low lower, and uh, we get price discovery to the downside. Okay. So that occurs over and over again. All right. and that's uh, uh, very indicative of how order flow trends or trades in a, in a trend. All right. So let's see. Um, what was the question here that uh, uh, Bill had about the, um, the visual column here about the uh, CVP and SVP? Okay, did, did I answer your question there, Bill? Okay, if you right click in here, uh, you know, you have uh, the data types here, but you can also just uh, then click on format, uh, and you have all the different uh, uh, types here, you know, bars, uh, bars and numbers, numbers only, extend that book. You can also show an aggregated book. Let me show you what that looks like, okay? So it just takes one price level, adds it to the next with all the liquidity, adds it to the next. So you're going to see here if we go with bars only, okay, it's going to get a really really nice aggregate uh, view here of it. Okay, we've got it split out. We can uh, not have it split out. Uh, justify it to uh, center, left, right. I mean, um, you know, you can do basically whatever you want here. Um, now, why would you want aggregate? I mean, uh, if you're a large trader or if you're looking for areas of them sweeping the book, okay. Let me actually format that back. Okay, they're going to sweep the book here. Uh, how many contracts? Uh, let me format it one more time. Bars and numbers. How many contracts have to be taken before we get up into this swing here? Okay, and you can look right at it. All right, so uh, over over 2,000. Okay, 2,500, and uh, that that's what's required to get up into these areas. Okay, a lot of traders like that view of the aggregate. It's, it's all up to you. Um, so. Um, uh, I'm going to go with uh, back to my my setup here. Okay, um, red numbers are here. These are the iceberg detectors. Uh, it's liquidity that traded. Okay, that wasn't in the limit order book. Uh, John, you want to look at the contrast screen again? Okay, so uh, let's uh, click on that, and um, uh, you can see the uh, uh, the settings here. Uh, and and I as I continue to to demo this, like. Um, uh, you know, it, it, you, all you have to do is get get it to where you know it, it shows you something that you like, and then there'll just be uh, you know little changes uh, you'll have to make, uh, but very quickly. You know, you can just uh, slide it just a little bit, and then you know this is telling you something now uh, significant. Okay, it's not a set and forget. That's the thing. All right, um, so. Um, uh, because and why is that is because more liquidity comes into the book. Okay. Right, look at the look at the. Uh, oh, we're in aggregate view here. Okay, there we go. That looks more like it. <laughs> okay, five thousand, four thousand contracts at a level. I'm like, ah, that looks pretty pretty high. Um, okay. Well, you can see that. Um, uh, yeah, they're they're you know showing some interest here at 67 and staying in the book. Okay, so you can start to gauge some of these uh, larger traders and, and um, uh, you know where where they're positioning themselves and where might they start defending uh, their position again. Okay, so if if they're and you can see them, uh, uh, you know if these are larger players here providing liquidity and absorbing at these prices here. And they they're bullish. Well, you know they'll just continue to absorb, uh, and then they'll start to defend here with more liquidity. And they're happy to to uh, to take the trade on, you know the sellers. 
uh, if uh, uh, they're, they're going to get the price that they want uh, without it moving against them, right? Uh, you know, they, they'll just uh, uh, provide liquidity and uh, uh, the sellers will take it. Okay, so yeah, you, you can start to anticipate that uh, the, these guys, um, well, let's see how they behave, right? Let's see how they, they start to defend these areas. And, um, and now let's start to gauge that auction a little bit better here, okay? We're starting to see, look at the little swing here and the volume chart starting to trade above, okay? And uh, in this swing here, though, uh, how's this auction behaving? Well, some of it traded up here, and then now they're starting to pull liquidity, and, and they want it to uh, uh, be a seller at a higher level. I'm looking for them to build out the book here in this area, okay? If they really want to uh, to be buyers here, or maybe they, you know, if the larger players, they, they want to get more size on at lower areas, you know, whatever the game might be, uh, but you can see the behavior here, okay? I, I don't see, I mean, I see high liquidity here just at one price level. Uh, let's see, what are the vertical lines in the COB column? Uh, yeah, these. this is the large lot tracker, okay? So uh, uh, this is another add-on. Uh, and what this white line represents is the liquidity that one individual actor uh, is holding at this price level or providing. Okay, so right now I'm not getting a really good uh, read on it because it's, we see a lot of larger traders here. So what you can do is you can come up to the studies configuration. We can click on large lot tracker uh, and we can filter for this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to bring it up. Okay. Uh, bring up the um, uh, th uh, to like 30% or so. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So that's giving me a little bit better view. You can see larger traders up here, and larger traders here now as well on the bid, and and they're they're more aggressive, right? So you're getting a read in this area here. Larger traders, maybe they're starting to chase price a little bit, okay? Whereas the larger traders on the offer, uh, they're they're pulling, and they want to they want to be uh, sellers up in these areas. Not 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 close to uh, price, so the, they're more passive, whereas these um, the buyers are being more aggressive, right? This is what we're looking for, okay? This is these these start to give us clues here, right? And this is just factual, you know, evidence here. Look at them starting to add into the book at higher levels, okay? Okay, this behavior is is starting to you can see the distinction between that and this over here. All right. Doesn't mean that the the sellers can't take them on and, and trade through it, but it just means that it's going to be a it's going to be a bigger battle, right? They need to trade through the high liquidity here. Okay, there has to be more sellers. Uh, yeah, uh, Robert, this is with uh, S five. Okay, my data feed. Oh, is OEC data? Okay, well, okay. So now look at the look at the um, uh, cluster of volume trading up here, right? I'm looking for price discovery to the upside now. Okay, where to? I'm looking basically right where this liquidity is. Maybe maybe a tick higher. This is where we broke from here. Right? Let's see if the sellers are the sellers still there. Okay, and and we can see them starting to show interest here. Uh, they want to be a seller at this area, okay, at 69 and a half. Okay. So you can you can start to put these these pieces together, right? Uh, looking at the transactions and looking at the, uh, the the auction. Okay, we're getting aggressive, you know, in and out. Uh, now they're now they're showing here at 68 uh, and and three quarters. Okay, but they're this is this is um, uh, not as decisive. This kind of liquidity, they're they're in here with high liquidity, and then they pull. Okay. Uh, and uh, and that's what we're doing with those questions, filtering through and understanding uh, the intent of these traders. Do they really intend to trade or not? Okay. Making the distinction between uh, you know uh, fake liquidity and uh, and real liquidity, or liquidity with the intent to trade. Okay. That opens the doors to all sorts of behavior uh, in limit order book. 
Okay, leads to your spoofing type of action. Uh, leads to um, um, you know all, all, all sorts of uh, uh, you know HFT. Um, uh, you, you might see some uh, some front running, some some um, uh, um, you know pack hunting. You might see some uh, dangling, some smoking. Uh, you know all of these different things. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, um, uh, let's let's zoom in here. We're starting to see some interesting stuff. Okay, notice them pulling here. Okay, and then they're getting aggressive at 68. Um, and look at them starting to accumulate here uh, on the uh, uh, you know lifting the offer. I'm looking for uh, maybe a hit coming up and uh, and testing this uh, 69 and a half here. Okay. Just being objective, looking looking at this information, was it telling me? Okay. We need aggressive buyers though here. Uh, let's see what happened to rule five seven five and spoofing. Looks like it's still going on in our faces. Um, you see that kind of that type of action. Um, um, you know, all the time. Uh, it it is not like it was uh, whatsoever. Uh, you know, it's a criminal offense, uh, and um, uh, but it, it's hard to. They're still trying to figure it out. I mean, it's hard to. Uh, you would have to link your the accounts together and understand that these traders here are spoofing to fill liquidity down here. Okay, and uh, you know the uh, the CME or I mean the uh, NFA and uh, CFTC is 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 defining that in the courts now. Uh, we continue to see articles come out, right? Um, but um, you know uh, this is why I, I think it's just important to uh, uh, have have your higher time frame outlook. Uh, and, and your own trading methodology, then look to the book for supporting evidence here, okay? very objective evidence to give you clues uh, or insight uh, to uh, uh, your trading methodology. For example, um, this, this area here uh, that we, we were covering earlier, what does is, what is rejection look like? Right? Well, you know, we're looking at the candlestick chart. Okay? Rejected below this 60, uh, well, it came down to 66 and, and a quarter, right? Our 67 level, though, basically, right? We rejected out of that area, uh, and then we swung to the other side, okay? So a pretty, pretty big move. Uh, and um, uh, what does that rejection look like, okay? Well, here it is. Absorption, okay? A, sh a shift in the, um, uh, uh, or I'm sorry, a... Um, a sweep of the book up into other areas with large transactions starting to take place on the other side. Okay, this behavior here is looking, in terms of just traded volume, is starting to look similar to this behavior here. Okay, so you can start to digest some of this information that Bookmap is displaying, and then you can start to uh, anticipate future price movement. Okay, based on uh, uh, your understanding of uh, uh, the limit order book and the and the transactions, okay, and that's what we're doing here, right? I'm not trying to call the market. I'm just trying to piece out uh, these areas here and and giving looking at the evidence. Yeah, who's who's in control, uh, Joseph? Exactly, uh, and uh, and starting to recognize that, okay. So we were looking for based on back here at around 11:35. Now it's 11:45. Okay. And we're seeing it climb upwards. We're looking for a test here still of 69 and a half. We need the aggressive buyers. Okay. They're getting aggressive here between, you can see them at 68 now in the, in the limit order book. Um, but, um, uh, you know, we're, just, we're still just kind of channeling here between uh, 68 and the 69 and a half. Uh, who would I say is in control? Well, that's a great question. It, it depends on the time frame, Joseph. You know, um, what 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 are you what are you looking for? Uh, are you are you looking to trade this small micro micro range right here? Uh, you know, who's in control of that? Or are we looking uh, on a, on the bigger bigger picture here from the open? Uh, who's in control? Uh, or are we looking um, 
you know, on a daily chart. I mean, uh, you know, or, you know, in this area, who is in control? Well, well clearly the buyers were, right? Uh, and uh, and their supporting price. Uh, but um, uh, at this point here, I would say the uh, the sellers, well, and, and over here, uh, you know, that phenomenon we're looking at, the, the breakdown here and the retest of this area, sellers are in control here at this point. Okay, at 72 and a half. Okay, and you can see the trending uh, that, that ensued. Now we're starting to see maybe a shift of that, right? Okay, that's what we were anticipating, is a shift of that. Okay. Well, I, I would say from the open, I would say still, um, you know, the the buyers are uh, are in control. I mean, we haven't come down and and, and traded below uh, the, the uh, uh, this here, this swing here at uh, sixty six and a quarter. Okay, and we can see them lining up again here as well. Okay, but you know, we're looking at for a nice, real nice battle to shape up here. Because they're 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 getting very aggressive on both sides here uh, with uh, limit orders. Uh, you can see them here on the offer, uh, getting more aggressive with uh, lowering uh, liquidity. And uh, now these guys at 68, how are they starting to behave? Right, they're pulling. All right. Okay. So uh, how aggressive were they? What was their intent to trade here? Uh, if they really wanted to trade, they would have stayed in the book. Yeah, but they're still, I mean, maybe at 68 they pulled, but they're still down here, you know, uh, between 67 and 68, right? So one one price level, you know, doesn't give you that, that read. That's why, you know, it's not binary here. It's contextual. We're looking at kind of, you know, holistically here, right? And reading reading this auction uh, between 67 and the 69 and a half. Okay, and also reading the transactions, and uh, in just going through this process, right? So, um, uh, and and we're getting our answers here, okay, by answering those questions, asking those questions, and answering them. Yeah, do we have automated strategies? We do. Uh, so uh, you can click here on the API, and there's a chase, escape, and execute strategy. Okay. Uh, you you will uh, need to open up Bookmap in um, the uh, 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 live data simulated by Bookmap mode uh, is not available now for uh, funded accounts. Okay, uh, this is a, a demo uh, at the moment. All right. All right. Let's see the lift the offer up into our 69 and a half level. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, we're 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 testing it right now, and volume is trading up there, and they're pulling liquidity. Okay, so you can see. I mean, this is it's not a crystal ball here, but we're we're putting pieces together in the order flow, looking for this kind of behavior. Okay, and um, uh, uh, reading the order flow. Okay, uh, and we're getting our test. Okay, now how are they behaving up here? go through that process again okay so I'm not you know it's not trying to call the market I'm not trying to use crystal ball here just a, a very objectively and methodically looking at the order flow and then uh, uh, based on that you can start to anticipate price action okay and like I said it depends on your trading methodology it depends on um, uh, the way that uh, uh, or what time frame you're looking at uh, as well, okay, that I was just going over with Joseph. Uh, Andrew, are we going to make them available uh, to funded accounts? Um, yeah, I believe that's in the in the future, all right? Um, and uh, I don't have any details on that, uh, when uh, it will be released. Uh, like I said, this... this um, API here, we're, we're just, this is kind of like a soft launch, basically. We're showing you the cumulative volume delta. You can write your own indicator strategies here as well, uh, or strategy, automated strategies that, that work off of indicators, uh, as well as um, uh, just ones that work off of the uh, limit order book, 
all right? Okay. All right, so uh, now let's let's take a look. What are we starting to see now? Okay, more volume trading at a higher high. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, you know we're we're piecing these things together again. All right. All right, guys, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Um, uh, you know, I think uh, we're seeing some uh, uh, pretty objective uh, information here. Uh, or going through pretty objective information here. I ho hope you find it helpful for, for the way you trade. Okay. Uh, let's see. Last night, the book map saved, saved you some money. Uh, had an order to go short in the 6E. They pulled liquidity, so you canceled. Excellent. There you go. Exactly, Joseph. I mean, this is, uh, uh, you know, you, 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 can, you can see the behavior here. You wouldn't be able to see that uh, if you, you know, well, I guess you could in the dome uh, with one one level price level you can see them pull, right? But it you're you're it's it's really difficult to read the dome uh, and put all that all that together. Instead, look at this context that we just put together here, you know, uh, looking at at several price levels, okay? And looking at you know we we know we can see the striations here of the adding and pulling of liquidity, how they're behaving at these areas, okay? That's that's key. I mean, uh, that's giving us gr great insight to these areas compared to looking at a dome and trying to, to recognize uh, several price levels with the numbers. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, let's, um, let's wrap it up. All right. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, excellent. I'm glad, glad you enjoyed the presentation. Um, let's wrap it up, and we will uh, catch up with you guys on, uh, on Wednesday. Okay. Take care.